Hey, hi, what's up? Um, so I got an Apollo, like a lot of us do. I got an X4. And it took me entirely too long to realize how awesome ADAT is um, and how easy it is to expand your inputs without spending a bunch of money. Um, so I, um, I found this Liquid Sapphire 56, uh, which is part of the uh, Focusrite Sapphire Pro line um, that's since been discontinued, but I found it for like 80 bucks on Facebook Marketplace and I'm creeping on there all the time because I'm a slut for cheap shit. Um, took it home, realized it wasn't going to be quite as simple as I thought to get everything going. But the good news is you can still use this thing in 2025. The caveat being you need um, an older Mac or Windows. So I think the, uh, the Mix Control app that you need to run these interfaces works on up through windows 10 and um, on mac uh, which is what i use through os uh, catalina i think that's 1015 is the os number whatever they call it um, so fortunately i had an older mac that i could uh, set this up on but before you get any further in the video, EndNote is, if you have access to an older computer with an older OS system, you can totally use this. You only need access to that computer one time to set this thing in standalone mode, and then you're good to connect this to ADAT for forever into the future, just as long as you don't change the settings again. All right, so uh, I'll give you a quick rundown so you can see on the screen, Liquid Sapphire 56. Sapphire Pro 40, these are all the same things. You can go to um, Focusrite Sapphire Downloads. You can see here are all the different models that this video applies to. In my case, I've got the Sapphire 56. Here you can control your mix surface. Um, and again, you gotta do this on an older computer um, so I found an older computer. Um, let's see, where's my, where's my screenshot here? Okay, so this is what you're working with. This is what the control surface looks like. Um, and if you want to screenshot this or pause the video here, these are all the settings um, that I put for ADAT to connect to my Apollo X4. Um, once this is put in standalone, you're good. Um, you connect this via FireWire, so you're going to need to use the correct adapters. I think you can go, what did I do? Thunderbolt 3 to 2 to you, uh, fire, FireWire 800 on one end to 400 on the other end. Um, and then that's how you interface to, to change the settings on the actual hardware unit. And so, like I said, these, these are my settings here um, that worked for me. Um, once you've got everything set up and it's in standalone mode uh, and you put in these settings, um, in terms of connecting to your Apollo, let's see. Nope, that's not what I want. You're going to do your optical ins and out. So um, you're going to do the um, optical out one goes into the in on your Apollo. Um, and then the out on your Apollo will go into optical in one on the unit. And you don't technically need the optical in into the, the hardware unit, um, but it's ideal for just kind of syncing up the clocks um, between the two devices, obviously. Um, in this case, I've got my Apollo as the master. Um, 
so outside of that, you know, once you got everything connected, your next task is to bring up your UAD, UAD console. Um, ultimately, it'll show however many inputs you have on your Sapphire unit. This one, the one I'm using has eight. So um, starting where I've got my aux box, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight at inputs that I added to my X4. And to set things up, you're gonna need to go to settings right here um, and just change your digital input and output to eight at. Um, let's see. I got my sample rate at 48, so that's gonna match up with, um, you know, your settings, of course, on the, the mix control surface. Um, but anyway, uh, you can double check in your IO matrix that, um, you know, you've got eight at one through however many channels your unit has shows up. And unless I'm forgetting anything, it's, Pretty simple, as long as you've got your FireWire adapters and you have access to a computer with an older operating system. You set the thing once, forget it, you are good forever into the future to use this, this uh, old ass gear for cheap and expand your input output. So hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for bearing with me. This is my, my first attempt at doing a video. Um, so, yeah, much love. Give me a shout in the comments if you've got any questions. Happy to provide further insight, anything I missed. Send, hit you up with some links if they're not already in the description. And happy to chat about my setup otherwise. Thanks.